Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 5th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the Pacific Ocean towards the Hawaiian Islands. Tropical Storm Jova, J-O-V-A, is born down here, and it should move off to the northwest, become a major hurricane, and eventually continue off to the areas to the northwest. Will it impact portions of California or the southwest USA? We'll take a look at that here in a moment. Weather Station giveaway tomorrow during a live stream. If you are a member of this page, and if you want to be, click on that join button down below the video here you will be automatically entered and you have to be in the live chat at the time that I give away the station to collect the prize. So stay tuned for updates on that. This day in SoCal weather history, September 5th, 1978. Check it out. Tropical Depression Norman made landfall in Southern California there. And you can see it was a very powerful hurricane as it moved up Baja there and did some interesting damage. Pulled a 10,000 ton tanker from its moorings in Los Angeles Harbor. A rare summer blizzard. Mount Whitney killed four people and total damages exceeded 300 million from the storm just kind of a sign of what these tropical systems can do if they take the right track all-time record hot summer phoenix arizona number one 2023 the hottest meteorological summer ever for phoenix arizona impressive stuff this is looking at dry and warmer this week las vegas nevada you can see lake havasu city furnace creek needles pushing up near 110 degrees here yeah we're going to warm up as we go towards the weekend here folks nice graphic from the national weather service las vegas taking a look at jova here and you can see a major hurricane uh, marked by that m here then it moves off to the northwest probably as a hurricane as well as we go on in through this weekend we'll check out the track here in a moment Looking at the European model, but as of last night, you can see this ridge building and kind of keeping this, ushering this system with a clockwise rotation, like a usher uh, moving a drunk guy along in a movie theater here saying, hey, no, you stay off to the west here. We don't want you across the southwest USA. I mean, I'm sure some people do, but yeah, for the most part, it looks like it's going to head off to the west, but some of this moisture is trying to leak out in here on the GFS. Let me show you what I mean here in a moment. And actually on the European here too, but it should stay far enough away. According to the European, if that one verifies it, it wouldn't have much of an impact but you can see the ridge sets up a little bit further to the east here on the gfs allowing us to get a little bit closer here so i mean if we got a little bit of a shift in this ridge over the next couple of days i could start to introduce more moisture into the region here but right now it looks like it holds it off to the west for the most part again with that clockwise rotation around that ridge and the system is probably going to weaken and die here out across the Pacific Ocean and eventually try to bring some of its moisture back up into the westerlies and maybe affect the west coast as a, uh, kind of a mid-latitude cyclone here as we go through the extended forecast. And I'll show you what I mean here now. This, again, is a uh, 12Z from the GFS. You can see the ridge building. We shut down precipitation for a while with that ridge here across into the southwest. There goes our tropical system and hurricane. As we go through Friday morning, shown here, you can see it really become a pretty strong hurricane at this point you see some of this moisture moving up into southern california you might feel that bump in the relative humidity out there it might make for some muggy conditions across the region and you can see the gfs trying to leak some of this moisture into the area here but just keeping enough of it the bulk of that moisture with the tropical system off to the west here and then if we go through the extended a little bit more here you'll see some of this moisture as it gets picked up the remnants of the storm do get picked up in the westerly here and may eventually affect the west coast and other indirect manners this looks at precipitable water on the european as of yesterday afternoon pretty similar there with the ridge building some of that moisture trying to get here but not quite as much according to the european keeps it a little bit further west here and then eventually that moisture would join the westerly here and maybe impact the west coast as part of the mid-latitude cyclone. We'll watch that over the next few days as well. Total precipitation in inches. Yesterday's European run here, 06Z. Some thunderstorm activity as we go through the day today across Nevada, but that's really about it. I mean, look at Arizona. <clears throat> Barely a shower. Maybe some southern portions or portions of New Mexico, Arizona border getting a little bit. But as we scroll through the weekend here, look at this, maybe a shower across the Sierra Nevada, but not much rain to speak of here across the region as we go through about Sunday night. We're going to warm things up. Look at those temperatures starting now. This is the National Blend of Models, and let's actually back this up. One run there so we can see today, and you can see some mid-upper 80s here across the valley. But watch the warm-up come here as we go through Wednesday, Thursday, just kind of a slow, steady climb across some of the desert areas. <clears throat> 110 plus can't be ruled out. And same for Death Valley. That looks like about 114, but you can see the valley going to be warming up here as well, including places just off the coastline like Burbank. Even LAX is going to warm up here along the immediate coast also. So, yeah, we're going to bump these temperatures up a bit here. We'll look at some of these in more detail starting now as well. Sacramento, you can see that little bit of a bump here as we move through the end of the weekend and towards early next week. Las Vegas going above average. 
overture, and you can kind of see the slow, steady tail off with the average temperature at this time of year. Same thing for Bakersfield, California, slightly above average to the extended. Los Angeles, LAX, up near the coastline there, up towards 90 degrees, can't be ruled out here on Sunday. And Burbank, up towards 100 degrees here for Sunday and maybe Saturday also. Palm Springs, look at this, getting up towards 110 to 115 as we go through the weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. But yeah, definitely above average. And you can see those average temperatures slowly tail off as we go through September. Six to 10 day temperature outlook here. This goes through September 14th, generally above average across much of the West, including a lot of Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas here. This is six to 10 day precipitation outlook here. And you can see that below average signal continues to exist here across some of the West. Um, yeah, and the smoke has been really, you know, we've really put out a lot of forest fire activity here across the Northern California. There is still some smoke around the immediate vicinities of these fires, but the air quality index is generally very good across California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah here, and even improved a lot across Oregon and Washington as well. Looking at the surface smoke here on the, uh, the HER, the high resolution model, and check it out, not even showing much at all with that fire, those fire complexes. That storm just was perfect here over the the last few days really brought that needed rainfall across the area. <clears throat> Now, this is looking at percent of average precipitation. We've been looking at this here daily, and you can clearly see the track of tropical storm Hillary's that came across the region here. But the very abnormally dry uh, conditions for meteorological summer here across some of the Bay Area as well. Uh, this is looking off the seasonal European forecast goes off once a month. And I just want to kind of go ahead and scroll ahead here. You can kind of see not much of a signal here. But when you get towards January and February here, you can see that increased troughing, probably due to El Nino kicking off a more powerful than normal subtropical jet stream could bring some increased precipitation potential here for uh, the state of California and some of the southwest here and we'll also look at the precipitation anomaly same model here as well there's uh, November, December, January. Look at that signal start to bump up here as we get towards the new year and then by December, January, February here as well you can see very dry across Pacific Northwest and the CFS also shows something similar as well and above average precipitation chances here across California that extends all the way out through March here 2024 so interesting signal here that's kind of typical El Nino stuff for California you know it doesn't necessarily mean too much right now of course we'll be watching individual systems as they come in here as we go through the fall and winter months but something to kind of keep in the back of your mind as it's shaping up to kind of look like a standard El Nino precipitation type event as we get on in towards the early portions of the new year and that's kind of when this precipitation anomaly really kicks in when it becomes rainier than normal here across california is when you get in towards the january february and march timeline but anyway yeah there goes our tropical system here eventually become a hurricane uh, stay tuned for that live stream tomorrow make sure you're in the live chat in the live chat and you are a member of the channel and you have an equal opportunity as anybody else that's going to be in the live chat to win that weather station there so Anyway, yeah, and if you want to buy that weather station, also go ahead and click on the link down below to save 10% off if you don't want to be a part of that drawing there. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a good day. We'll do this again tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys then.